Thank you very much. Good morning. Um, so as you very well know, today we all use satellites data either to locate a good restaurant or, or check the weather forecast. But what is the one subsystem helping satellites to stay in orbit? It's its propulsion system. Well, at Ionix, we have the ambition to develop the most efficient propulsion systems ever put in space. My name is Thomas. I am the CEO of the company. It has been founded two years ago by Techno Founders and CNRS, respectively by Eve and, and Jack. Eve has been building deep tech ventures for the past 10 years, and Jack is the world expert in ion sources, which is our underlying technology. And myself, I have a double background, both in space and in business, working for Ariane Space and Boston Consulting Group. You see here on the page most of our partners. Uh, we have raised more than 4 million euros in seed round in May last year. And I will come back to this, but uh, we, we are planning a Series A uh, at the beginning of next year. So what is the problem we are trying to tackle exactly? Well, if you look at the current market in propulsion today, there is no system that is either compact, powerful, efficient, scalable, and with production cost compatible with mass deployment and with constellation deployment. Well, we are trying to develop a system that ticks all those boxes. And why does that matter? Well, if you develop such a system, you will help satellites to stay longer in orbit. Therefore, you will fight against satellite obsolescence. Also, if such, such system is available for small sats, you will help them to, to move around debris and avoid the collection of those debris. On a more entrepreneurial side, I believe there is a nice business to be built on a, on a market that is today estimated between 1 to 2 billion euros, and that is growing two digits per year with high margin. So from an entrepreneurial perspective, um, it's also a very interesting case. How does it work exactly? So we have patented a technology called EHD, electrohydrodynamic. The way it works is relatively simple. We pull on a liquid using a high electric field and taking advantage of uh, the spike effect. So basically our technology is to develop a mesh of nano spikes. So on a 10 centimeter surface, we will have tens of thousands of the nano spikes. We have the liquid, not the spikes, and we pull on it with the electric field, therefore ejecting ions at very high speed. And we are talking several hundred kilometers per second, which is, um, which is quite unique. On the page, you see the product we are currently developing. Um, so we are testing it in our vacuum chambers every day. We are planning a demonstration of that product at the beginning of next year. In terms of performances, we want to have a thrust higher than 1 millinewton with an ISP higher than 5,000 seconds, which is um, at least a factor 2 compared with what's on the market today. And with other great operational advantage, such as non-toxic, uh, non-pressurized, and inert um, propellants. If you look at uh, the different propulsion systems available on the market today, the sweet spot we are aiming is to have something that generates enough thrust and have significant ISP to meet the needs of the small star markets, but using less electric power compared to the competitions. And with the thruster we intend to, to develop, um, we will draw less than 50 watts, which is again an, another competitive advantage compared to our competitors. I was explaining that we are testing our uh, thruster in vacuum chambers every day. Uh, that's the pictures of uh, our installation. So we have state-of-the-art clean room equipment in the nanoscience lab of CNRS. And this is not science fiction. Uh, we are really building that technology, and it, and it works. One word about our uh, programmatic macro timeline. Um, there are three points that I would like you to remember from the page. The first one is that we are not bootstrapping that technology alone in our garage. We've been backed by very serious institutions from the beginning. The second point is that, as I was saying, we will fly middle of next year on board EnduroSat and SpaceX. And we will be also announcing two other flight opportunities in the coming weeks. I would say in, a, in the coming two weeks. Um, so stay tuned for this. And the last point is uh, we will be raising a Series A uh, at the beginning of next year. Our historic investors, techno, uh, techno founders, and expansion will most likely be on board. Uh, but uh, if you are interested, we are also looking for other participants to join um, the party. And we are, also, um, we are also recruiting. So if you know anybody that would be interested in working with a, a space tech company, uh, please let's talk. That's all I have for you today. Uh, we are located just um, across the GFAS booth. Uh, we have a, a small booth here. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to stop by, and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you.